to the Dr. Phil Show. I'm Dr. Phil. Okay, listen up, people. Today we're going to talk about parents who I just think are irresponsible. They're laid back. They let their kids do what they want. And frankly, it just stinks. Now, this is Alicia and her daughter, Melanie. Now, uh, Alicia says she lets Melanie stay out till uh, 2 a.m. on the weekends, lets uh, her drink beer in the house, and she lets her own daughter meet with men she chats with on the MySpace. <laughs> is this true? Yes, Dr. Field, but the boys have to come to the house first. Okay, look, well, you either get it or you don't. Oh, look, Dr. Field, my mom's actually really cool. She takes really good care of me. She just treats me like an adult. That's right, Melanie deserves to be treated like an adult because she gets excellent grades, um, she's captain of the junior varsity softball team, and as for meeting men on MySpace or boys as it may be, I think it's perfectly fine and reasonable for her to meet them in this day and age that way. And, and as for the drinking Dr. Feel, I would rather have her drinking beer at home, where, where I know she's not binge drinking, or, or worse, getting in the car with someone who's been binge drinking. <laughs> Melanie, what's wrong? Dude, you scare me. <laughs> you know, I don't understand why people find clowns so frightening. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go help you get over that right now. I have a healing touch. You see, what you need to do is you need to get over your fears. Do you know what fears are? Fears are mostly just you getting afraid of that whole getting afraid thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> are you feeling what I'm feeling? Oh. Uh, see, Melanie, uh, sometimes you just need to give yourself what you wish somebody else would give you. <laughs> oh. Oh. How's that working for you? It's funny. Are it's you like, feeling me? <laughs> oh. 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 Okay. Uh, Alicia, <laughs> I'm going to put some verbs into my sentences now. You need to be more strict with your daughter. <laughs> your daughter is a Fine, fine, fine young woman. <laughs> you choose the, 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 the behavior, you choose the consequences. Are, are, you, are you feeling me? Uh, no, you're <laughs> feeling me. <laughs> um, you know, people tell me all the time how much I've touched them. Uh, dude, quit feeling up my mom's tits. Feelings? The hell with you and your feelings? Everybody in there feels. Here, Alicia, you feel me. Are you feeling me? You need to listen to your body because your body is listening to you. Uh, I, 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 I feel good, but, but, but how should I be more strict with my daughter? I you know, there's I, nothing funnier to me than laughing at myself. <laughs> you're not even answering your question. You're just grabbing my mom's tits and stuff. Don't make me put your head in my blender. <sighs> are you even a doctor? Sounds like you had a big old bowl of that loud mouth soup. You know what? I read somewhere that you went to be disciplined by the Texas Board of Examiners for an inappropriate relationship you had with a 19-year-old who works at your office. Are you kidding me? No. You're not even licensed to practice psychology in the states of Texas or California or anywhere else for that matter. Honey, it's time to get real. <laughs> Why are you even have a show? You're not even a doctor. Melanie, I don't think you're feeling me. <laughs> <laughs> You don't ignore. Okay, I understand. See, I've been doing this for 30 years. I can tell you, you just need to get a shotgun and just aim it in the direction of the noise. <laughs> Are you feeling me? Yeah, I'm feeling <laughs> you. All right, you know, this is good. <laughs> Woo! Okay, uh, um, we're going to take a little break, and when we come back, we're going to meet a mom who says she's addicted to prescription medications. I wonder how she's feeling. Thank <laughs> you.